Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today Disney released its first details on the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World starting October 1st, 2021, which is the exact day that Disney World or the Magic Kingdom opened in 1971. So that's a very special day. It is starting a little bit later this year due to the pandemic, but I feel like that's a, still a perfect day to start because of course it is the Magic Kingdom, this beautiful icon right here, its 50th anniversary is exact date. Speaking of its 50th anniversary, there are some nice overlays coming. Disney revealed some some overlays and some nice new projections. Again, as a part of its initial rollout of the all the events happening for the 50th anniversary. And as you see, the castle here is adorned with gold. This is a, it'll be a temporary, just like with Disneyland's 50th anniversary, that would be a temporary overlay of the castle. But the one, the stuff that was completed last year was more permanent. That's more that's permanent overlay. But the gold ribbons will be temporary for the 50th anniversary, which will run, by the way, 18 months. So we run 18 months till about 2020. I think July 2023. So you have a plenty of time to go out to Florida and check out Disney World for its 50th anniversary. And look at these beautiful nighttime projections. Wow. So then. Nighttime projections look gorgeous, and they'll have the addition of uh, pixie dust going around the castle via projection mapping. And this isn't the only park icon that's going to be uh, looking great at night, as all four park icons will be looking amazing at night. Look at this. Spaceship Earth is going to look fantastic in the fountain. Um will look gorgeous at Epcot at night for the 50th anniversary. And one thing about Spaceship Earth, about this is the one thing that's different from all the other park icons, is that this overlay will actually be permanent as part of Epcot's 40th anniversary and $2 billion renovation. So this nice new LED, LED panel color palette for the golf ball, a.k.a. Spaceship Earth, will be permanent and that looks gorgeous i love those blue colors and speaking of blue here's some iridescent blue of course mickey and minnie have to celebrate and dress up for the occasion these they call this iridescent blue but this really reminds me of the costumes for make um, for the magic happens parade it looks like that same kind of color palette definitely going on there let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that but uh, the uh, first time i saw this um it was the screaming magic happens vibes for me but i love the magic happens costume so i'm totally totally in favor of this especially those really those deep gold colors the shoes and minnie's bow it looks great and i love again those those kind of purplish blue vibes very magic happens at least in my opinion Here's the beautiful Animal Kingdom, and as that is personally my favorite Walt Disney World Park. Um, and the Tree of Life is going to get adorned with some beautiful projection mappings of like fireflies, looks like on top. Kind of like, looks like Mama Odie's tree a little bit there, or oh, those fireflies on top. But then some nice, nice lighting patterns showcasing the animals carved into the tree. Animal Kingdom is just such a beautiful park. I just. Mm, can't wait to go back there. I'm trying to get back there for the 50th anniversary, 2023. It's a couple years out. Um, I have a chance. And, of course, my second favorite park in Walt Disney World, Hollywood Studios. Mainly because of that baby right there, the Tower of Terror. My goodness, I love it. Um, beautiful park, awesome park, small park. Can't wait till it gets even more attractions. But the Tower of Terror, which is Hollywood Studios' icon, is going to get... Some nice projection mapping. Some looks like some gold and blue projection mapping there at night. <laughs> Which the Tower of Terror definitely used to projection mapping because it gets projection mapped on every year during the holidays with the, the Christmas overlay they got going on there. So that's pretty cool. But what do you guys think of these new overlays coming to uh, Disney World for the 50th anniversary? And especially what do you guys think of those costumes from Mickey and Minnie? Do they scream magic happens to you, or is it just me? Keep in mind, this is just the first many, many announcements for the 50th anniversary. So, if this is disappointing you, don't let it disappoint you, because it's, it's just 
the first of this is like a tiny like a drop in the bucket for what they have planned which include new nighttime entertainment there's permits filed for phantasmic and some other shows coming um returning but they may have some enhancements some rides can get enhancements of course you got tron and guardians of the galaxy opening next year so lots of stuff coming to the resort for the 50th anniversary and for epcot's 40th anniversary so don't be dismayed if you this seems disappointing to you but I, I think this is great. I love projection, projection mapping. And I like how each of the park's icons will be getting um, a nice little touch-up at night. Uh, what do you guys think below? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button. And as, uh, subscribe for more theme park updates. And for more announcements regarding the Disney World's 50th anniversary. And as always, have a fantastic day.